Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about how to install Windows 11 22H2 without TPM 2.0 or a secure boot or even the required processor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bypass all these requirements that you'll need to have in order to install Windows 11 normally. But using the methods that I'm going to show you in this video, three methods to be more exact, you'll be able to install Windows 11 on almost any computer, even if it doesn't have TPM 2.0, secure boot, the required processor and and so on. Just note that this is not really an official process and it's not really recommended by Microsoft, but I've tested this out for a few months now since the release of Windows 11 and I can tell you for sure that the only limitation that you will have is that you won't be able to install major Windows 11 updates. You'll receive the normal patches and security updates, but when Microsoft will release another major update, you will need to reinstall the system if you want to install that new major update. So if you enjoy videos like these and where I show you how to do different things in Windows 11, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before getting into the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. Before we get further in this video, I wanted to let you know that this video is sponsored by IP Royale, one of the best proxy solutions on the internet. There are countless reasons a business would want to perform data scraping. Its most significant advantage is gathering unstructured data from different sources into one place. Efficient and accurate web scraping is not possible without adequate proxies. Picking the right proxy solution for your needs will allow you to gather data even from hard to reach sources and help you avoid bans. For this reason, I recommend rotating residential proxies. They provide a constant stream of fresh IPs for all sorts of web crawling projects. You can quickly integrate their proxies with most management software or use them in your own solutions. I've also teamed up with IP Royale to bring you a special coupon code. Use the code TECHBASE at checkout to get a 50% discount on their Royal Residential proxies. Make sure to use the coupon code now as the deal will not last for long. So as I've said at the beginning, I'm going to show you three ways which I've personally tested and I can assure that they work. The first method that I'm going to show you is the easiest one. So basically you are in the Windows 11 installer, you're trying to install Windows 11 from a normal ISO. Don't forget that I've showed you in the video from yesterday and it will be linked below in the description on how to download the Windows 11 ISO. You come to this part where it says activate Windows, you click on I don't have a product key and the next message that you'll receive is that this PC cannot run Windows. 11 because you don't have TPM and so on, but I'm going to show you how easy it is right in the installer to bypass those requirements. You're going to have to press Shift plus F10 on your keyboard to open up CMD where it says activate and tap in there reject it. In reject it, locate HKEY local machine, system, and then expand setup. Right click on the setup folder, new, and then key. Name this key lab config. Make sure to use capitals as shown in the video. And then in an empty space from the lab config folder, right click new dword 32-bit value and name the first one bypass tpm check make sure to change its value to one and then another value bypass secure but check press enter on it change the value to one and you should be good to go close this out and you will be able to install windows 11 with no issues as you can see when you select windows 11 pro you receive that message but not now you can easily install windows 11 and select everything as I've said, that was the easiest method that you can use and a method that I recommend you try because it's the easiest and it doesn't require much time. But if you want to do something more complex and maybe you want to install Windows 11 on multiple computers, well, follow the next ways or methods that I'm going to show you in this video. Another method would be to download a software called Rufus that will allow us to create a bootable USB drive and this software has some options that will help us remove all the Windows 11 requirements. So this is more complex but can help you install Windows 11 22H2 on multiple computers. We're going to have this down link in the article below in the description. Scroll down and download the latest version. Once it's downloaded, you can open it. Now the software is opened. Of course, for this, you're going to need the Windows 11 ISO. As I've said, again, you will have the tutorial from yesterday in which I showed you how to download the Windows 11 22H2 or 2022 update ISO. And when the software is opened, all you need to do is to select your device. Make sure to have a device that has at 
least eight gigabytes and it's empty or if it's not empty you're gonna need to note that it will be completely erased and from here select disk or ISO image and click on select to select the ISO in my case it is on desktop and I'm gonna select it you can leave everything as it is here you can change the name for example Windows 11 22 h2 and then you can click on start once you click on start you're gonna see that the software will allow it to you remove all the requirements that there are in Windows 11 so for example you can remove the requirement for 4 gigabytes plus secure boot and TPM 2.0 you can also remove the requirement for an online Microsoft account you can disable data collection you can set up a local account using the same names as this users you can set regional options using the same values as this users so you can check all these and you can easily create a bootable USB drive with Windows 11 after you click on OK the process will start of course it's gonna take up to 10 15 minutes but then you will be able to install Windows 11 22 h2 with no limitations on almost any computer using that bootable USB drive the third method that I'm going to show in this video is yet again related to the ISO. So you also can install Windows 11 22 h on your computer, even if you have Windows 10, using a script that will bypass all those requirements. So you're going to have this link below in the article in the description. Just go here and then click on code and then download zip. You're going to have this archive, right click on it and then click on extract all and extract it on the desktop with no issues. You're going to have this folder, go ahead and enter the folder and you're going to have here bypass 11 and also the skipped PM check on dynamic update and here you can easily right click on this and run as administrator make sure to click on run anyway click on yes and the script will run the script is 100% safe as I've tested it and when the process is finished easily the script will be closed it's really really simple and now you can just mount the image by double clicking on it in Windows 10 or Windows 11 or whatever and double click on setup and the installation process will start and you will be able to install Windows 11 22 h2 on your computer with no issues even if you don't have TPM 2.0 and other things like that. As you can see, you have the installer. Basically, Microsoft allows us to use also this method, a uh, forced upgrade, if I can call it like that, because you have the ISO and you run the setup from the ISO. Alternatively, in this method, with this script, you also have the main script that has basically everything in one place. You have the media creation tool here that you can open up and you're going to have to select the version of OS that you have. Basically, you're going to be able to auto upgrade or auto ISO, auto USB, it will make the process easier for you. Auto upgrade will automatically upgrade or you can change the ISO or change the USB. It's really, really simple. You just need to give the rights to the script. It can also automatically download the ISO for you and so on. So I think the script is really useful and you can try it out if you want to install Windows 11 22H2 on any computer. So this was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful for you. If you did, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.